here's the vector equation of a line. We have to write it in a slightly different form, calculate a unit vector in the same direction as the line, and write the Cartesian form of the line. Well, it's fairly easy to see from this how to write it like that. R is going to be the constants for negative 3 plus some multiple of negative 3 and plus 8. Just pull those numbers out of there. Um, if you prefer, you can use i's and j's. 4i minus 3j plus lambda times negative 3i plus 8j. You can choose whichever you prefer. Calculate a unit vector in the direction of L. Well, this vector gives me the direction of L. So to get a unit vector, let's work like this. The direction line is minus 3i plus 8j. So a unit vector then depends on the length of d. Uh, the length of d is 3 squared plus 8 squared, which is 9 plus 64, which is 73, which I believe is prime. So I can't simplify that. So then a unit vector Oh, I didn't write that right. A unit vector in the direction of the line is that vector divided by its length, which is minus 3i plus 8j over root 73. That got a bit messy. Um, if you would like to um, so rationalise the denominator, it will be root 7 3 over 73 times minus 3i plus 8j. Now to determine the Cartesian form. We're going to go back to our equation of a line and we're going to write parametric version of that. So we're going to have, maybe I can do it there, will it fit? Then you can see everything at once. So um, x equals 4 minus 3 lambda and y equals negative 3 plus 8 lambda. Rearrange each of those for lambda. So the first one gives me um, x minus 4 over negative 3 and the second one gives me y plus 3 over 8. So if I take the lambda out of the middle and just make those two equal, I have the Cartesian form. Some people would turn this into a plus 3 on the bottom, they're going if you prefer, or 4 minus x on 3 equals y plus 3 on 8. So look out for that. Sometimes you'll see it written like this. It's the same as this, they've just got rid of the negative on the bottom. Either way, if I want to work out the Cartesian form in standard form, um, as your textbook does for this example, then all I have to do is cross multiply. And you can pick either equation, it doesn't matter. I'll just pick the first one. I just wanted to show you this so you can see what some people do. But let's take this version. So we have 8, x take 4, equals negative 3, whoops, my negative sign went a bit messy, negative 3, uh, y plus 3. 8x take 32 is negative 3y, take 9. Variables on one side, numbers on the other. 8x plus 3y equals 32, take 9. 8, what did I do? Ah, that's what I did. That should have been an X. Sorry about that, wasn't paying enough attention. 8, I think I said the right thing. 
8x, 8x plus 3y equals 23. And there's my Cartesian form of the line L in standard form.